Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Python on your Windows 11 machine. I'm going to be doing some Python videos, demonstration videos, and uh, I noticed that the version I was using was 3.11 and 3.12 is out now, so I figured why not just uh, do a video on how to install 3.12 while I was updating my version to 3.12. So here we are. I'm on the python.org website and you can get here either by navigating directly to it or you can do a search in Google. The idea though is you want to go to python.org. There's many different ways you can install Python. There's different tools that you can use that will install it for you, but they vary and they change so much and I've had trouble more than once using some of those other uh, installers. The easiest way that I've found that seems to work most of the time, almost every time, is just download it from the Python website and install it directly on your machine. So that's the way I'm going to be showing you. If you go to python.org and click the downloads link, it'll take you to the downloads page. You'll see that Note here that it says the latest release is 3.12.2 and I'm just going to click that download button and save the file. Now I'm going to cancel out of this because I already downloaded it but you would just uh, download yours, put it in your downloads folder or keep track of where your browser puts it and then once you get it downloaded you just need to open up that folder that you put it in, mine's in the downloads folder, and then double click it and you're going to get a dialog box that will ask you for some settings and I'm going to just choose customize installation. Um, I want to add this to my system path. That's a... Uh, I'll show you where that's at and how to do that, but it's easier just to check this now and let the installer do it for you. So if you check that and click it, you'll come to the optional features uh, section. It has the documentation, which obviously gives you the documentation for Python. Uh, you have the option to install pip, which is the package manager for installing additional Python modules that you may want to use while you're writing your programs. Uh, TCL slash TK, this is oftentimes referred to as Tickle TK. Uh, the TK stands for TK Enter, TK Enter, Kenter. People call it different things, but it's basically a GUI. Uh, it's the programming that helps you write um, Windows programs using Python uh, or uh, graphical user interfaces. Uh, the idle. Uh, is nice to have too. It's an interactive uh, shell that you can use to run code in one line at a time. The Python test suite, that's never a bad thing to have. If you want to run tests or write tests, you'll have it. And then you'll have these two uh, check boxes that you can check. Uh, the Pi Launcher, which is nice, especially on Windows. And then for all users, if you want to install that Pi Launcher for all users, you want to check that too. So I'm going to click Next. And then I'm going to put mine in a very simple, easy to locate location. I'm going to put it right on the C drive in a Python folder. See how short that path is? It's going to be easy for me to find. And I'll just click Install. And it will install it. you may get a dialog box that asks you to authorize some things but if you just select you basically just uh, respond to the dialogs that pop up it will do the installation and so now uh, we have uh, the successful install and you notice here that uh, there's an option to disable the path length limit uh, I like to do this just because I've run into problems where I was trying to uninstall something, uh, not with 
not with Python, but with another uh, system. Uh, I won't say any names, but uh, trying to uninstall some libraries that have paths that are way longer than your operating system will allow allow you to use it, it can get kind of challenging so uh, I like to disable the path limit disable the path limit and click close and now it should be installed once that's installed you can open up a PowerShell window and you can just uh, verify that the installation happened and you can do that by typing pi space py space and then typing dash dash the word version click that or hit enter and it'll tell you the version of python that you have installed you can do the same thing to verify that pip installed correctly and you remember we installed pip the package manager with python so you should be able to type the same thing behind the command pip and when you hit version you'll it'll tell you which version of pip you're using so on my machine pip 24 is installed in this location and it's associated with python 312 which is what we want now the pip package manager is what you use to install uh, modules things that you're going to use with Python and the first one we're going to install is the one that helps us manage our virtual environments and so to do that we just need to type in pip and then a space and then the word install pip install and the name of the module that we're going to install is called pip env it's going to help us manage our virtual environments type that command in hit enter it will go out and find uh, that and install it and you'll see here that it's installing the packages and it says that it's successfully installed and so I should be able to type in pip env space space version and then if you hit enter it will tell you the version that you have installed so now we're ready to uh, begin writing uh, Python programs uh, using Python on Windows 11. Uh, not much to it, you just install those three things to start off with. You gotta have Python and you I've had the least amount of problems installing it directly from the Python website using the installer that you download there like we did in this video. Then you install uh, well when you install Python you tell it to also install pip and then uh, once you install pip you can install your pip env which is your environment uh, your virtual environment management uh, module that helps you to keep your program separate and we'll kinda talk about that as we as we use pip env but now I did say that I would show you uh, how to make sure that Python is on your path so I'm gonna do that right now uh, the way you do that is you just uh, you can just do a search by clicking your your search magnifying glass there and typing environment variables and you should see this option edit the system environment variables if you click that you'll get this window that pops up and what this does is it allows you to go into see this button down here at the bottom you can go into your system properties and you can manage your environment variables if you click that you'll get this box which has two different sets of variables one is for the user and the other one is for the system uh, you'll see here the second line down on mine uh, it has a path variable and then it has a value that has all these programs uh, that are in there and they're separated by they're separated by semicolons if you notice right before each C drive there's a semicolon so if you double click this line 
you'll get this window and you can see all of the environment variables for the user that you're logged in as. Now mine has the Python scripts and the Python folder on it and you can see now why I wanted such a short uh, path but if if your PowerShell is not able to find Python and you know you installed it this may be why you may have forgotten to check add Python to my path and if you did you won't see these in here but it's pretty easy to add uh, Python to your path all you really have to do is open up a file explorer and then go to where you installed Python and you'll see right here that this is where I have Python installed and if you just click out here to the right of this last arrow in your Explorer window it will show you the path and you can just copy that out of there and then close that down and then come over here and just click new and then paste that path in there now I'm not gonna save it because I already have it on my path but you can just paste it in there and then click OK and it will it will add that location to your path and then of course you want to add your scripts folder which is uh, inside of that Python directory as well so that's uh, once that's done and you close that out click OK and it'll close it and then you click OK and you've added Python to your path. That's how you install Python on Windows 11. I hope that helps and thanks for watching.